the move command can and should many times be used in conjunction with tracking. I've got tracking turned on at the moment. So I'm going to select this line and right click and pick move. What I'll do now is change my O snap to mid and I'll pick up the midpoint of that line, move in off in this direction here, make sure that tracking is on and I'll say I'm going to move it 200 millimeters in the direction to the right and the line jumps like so. Let's repeat that by picking move, we'll jump to the midpoint, this time we'll move it up at an angle of 45 degrees, so again tracking is useful and we'll type 500. So we've moved that line up at a 45 degree angle, a distance of 500 on the slope. So the ability to select objects and move them and give them finite distances going at certain angles is really, really handy. Let's take a practical example. If I use, if I turn O snap to intersection now and I measure the distance from that intersect to that intersect and I see that it's 200 and uh, your builder says, no, that's not satisfactory. We really need to move these windows further away from this door opening. And uh, you might say, well, I need them 500 away. So if it's 200 from that point to this point here, we need to move the windows another 300 mil along the line. So if we select the first window, it happens to be a block, and the second window, it's a copy of the block, and we right click and pick move, and we go to the snap to the intersection there and just move in the direction we need to go and we want to type 300 and hit enter. Now the we can move that line there that was at the 200, we can delete that. Now the windows sit 500 from the door opening. We'll just check distance from there to there, 500 units or 500 millimeters in this particular drawing. Can you see that using O snaps in conjunction with tracking and the move command is very powerful indeed.